You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Earlier today, the NCAA, uh, the well, it wasn't actually the NCAA. It was the IARP, the Independent Accountability Resolution Process. Uh, they finally ruled on the Will Wade LSU saga that has gone on now since September of 2017. The, the federal investigation into college basketball became public in September of 17. And it has been six years now that we have just seen this thing drag on. And it has involved both Will Wade and LSU basketball and the NCAA intertwined the investigation into football dating back to Vidal Alexander and the OLOL uh, no-show job that his dad was allegedly paid for and all that sort of stuff. Well, all of this essentially turned out to be a giant nothing today. Uh, LSU football is getting some probation but they accepted the punishment. Remember when LSU self-imposed a bowl ban in 2020? We all laughed at it. It didn't matter that we all laughed at it. They wanted to see some type of self-imposed punishment, and that was sufficient, clearly, now, this time later. But all in all, dragging out football was what we always said it was. It was a leverage point for the NCAA to get their pound of flesh with Will Wade, which they got when LSU fired him. Cincinnati has not been punished. Arizona has not been punished. Kansas has not been punished. All of the schools involved in this basketball investigation, none of none of them are getting postseason bans. None of their coaches are getting uh, show causes. They're all good. So Will Wade, now the coach at McNeese, McNeese had levied a five-game suspension. The NCAA came back and said, actually, it's going to be a 10-game suspension. So McNeese waived their five-game suspension. They accept the 10-game suspension for Will Wade, and that's it, and he gets to go on. There's some probation and other things, but mostly this was a six-year waste of resources. This was a six-year effort to get Will Wade fired at, at LSU, which they got. They used football as leverage to get it done, and it now has come to this today. The other thing that happened that might be of even a tiny degree of significance is that the NCAA added that LSU football will have to vacate all of its wins and championships between 2012 and 2016. Um, that, I, I think vacating wins and championships is stupid. There is absolutely nothing to be gained by doing that. We all saw the games. They were played on the field. Uh, but because Vidal Alexander was ineligible, they're saying all those games didn't actually happen, although we saw them all. The only thing that really impacts... A, of material value is less miles. And what I mean, and the reason I bring that up is when you look at less Miles' career winning percentage during his time at LSU and really and, and in his career, that now taking vacating all of the wins from 12, 13, 14, and 15 drops less Miles' career record overall to 108 and 73. Uh, he vacated the wins in in four seasons. So you know as a result of that he vacated 37 wins. And can you do this math for me? Do you have a calculator? Um, so less miles is 108 and 73. What is that what is that winning percentage? I'm sorry, we're doing this on the fly. Uh, what's the winning percentage for, let's see, that would have been 100 and... 596. That doesn't make sense. 596? So, see, 108 plus 73, right? That's yep. 181. So 108 divided by 181 is 596. So then do add the 37 wins to it. All right, so you're 145 and 73... Which is 218, 145 divided by 218, 665. Well, those Kansas years really hurt him. Uh, <laughs> but but in any event, point point is, you saw Les Miles' winning percentage now dip below 600 overall. And this is a, a thing where he is a potential college football Hall of Famer. And this could very well affect his college football Hall of Fame 
status, induction, all of that sort of stuff. So it is a legacy thing, certainly, for Les Miles, if they look at it as such. So just, just something to file away. But the most significant thing here today is LSU football can go on and is not affected by it. LSU basketball, Matt McMahon, is not going to be punished and now can go recruit and not have to answer questions about this and doesn't have to worry about a postseason ban and all that sort of stuff. So uh, a six-year charade that was really just trying to get a pound of flesh and will wait, which they got and used a lot of resources to get. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.